What up, y'all? It's your guy Dawson from D&D TV. Thank you for rating, commenting, and subscribing. Everybody who's donated, those of you all who will, you know I appreciate it. All that information is in the description box below. Make sure you go over to my other YouTube channel, Dawson Speaks. Subscribe over there and hit the little bell next to the subscribe button so you get notifications when I drop a new video. Now let's get into this topic. All right, thanks for clicking on the video. I appreciate you all so much. Now, as I approach these stories with respect, I want you all to please, please, please be respectful in my comments section. Now, this YouTube show is for everyone, and Dawson does not and shall not discriminate on the basis of race, color, religion, gender, gender expression, age, national origin, disability, marital status, sexual orientation, or military status. Take a breath. <laughs> Now, I know my subscribers are going to be like, come on, Dawson, you're doing too much. I feel like I'm an orientation. Who are you, human resources? Yeah, sort of. <laughs> it's kind of like your job. You don't go to your job and say any and everything, <laughs> even if you dislike people or like a situation. You have to have some kind of uh, self-restraint. So on this YouTube channel, because I am in charge of this, this is my job, this is my thing, what I love to do, YouTube will come for me. They're not going to come for you. So to keep them from coming to me, I got to make sure you fall in line. Now, if you want your comments to be seen, please, please, please be respectful. A Florida man is behind bars accused of shooting another Florida man because he feared of being outed as gay. According to the Daytona Beach Police, Jakari Webb was taken into custody by the SWAT team in connection with the shooting of Teelan Mann. Yeah, they call the SWAT team on this joker. Now, before I go on, I must say that Teelan Mann's gender-specific pronouns were he, him, and his. That's how he identified himself. I don't want anyone to say that I'm misgendering him, all right? Now, according to investigators, Jakari Webb and Teelan Mann had been talking on social media to each other for a couple of months, and they planned to meet each other for the first time, the first time, just a few blocks away from Teelan Mann's home. Police said it was during that first encounter that Jakari Webb shot Teelan Mann. Officers arrived on the scene after hearing gunshots while patrolling the area, and they found Teelan Mann lying on the ground injured. Now, according to the Daytona Beach Police, they said that Jakari Webb had concerns that Teelan Mann had or either was going to post something on social media that was going to out him. Jakari, come on, man. It's easy for you to say something like that because you're the only one alive to give the police a statement. Now, we're going to delve just a little bit more into this topic, but before we go any further, I'm going to let you all watch this video, and I'll be back with the rest of my commentary, and you all know me. I'm Dawson, and I won't hold back because he thought he was going to out him as gay. Jakari Webb is now in jail, arrested yesterday when a SWAT team surrounded the house where he was hiding. Where she's Michelle Meredith is live in Daytona Beach. Michelle. Well, this is the spot where Teelan Mann was shot. As you can see, it's now marked with this memorial. It's also where a police officer who happened to be patrolling nearby heard the shots and found him lying in a pool of blood. And then you have a new charge for first-degree murder. Jakari Webb stood before a judge today facing the charge of first-degree murder, accused of killing Teelan Mann, shooting him to death because, according to police, he thought Teelan was going to out him as gay. There was some concern that, um, that, that Teelan was going to either had or was going to post something on social media kind of outing um, the, the suspect. According to police, the two had been talking to each other on social media since February. The spot on Forest Glen Boulevard was to be their first planned meeting in person. Police say that's when Jakari pulled out a gun and shot Teelan. A police officer heard the shots and found Teelan on the sidewalk. By using surveillance cameras from all over the city, police were able to identify Jakari and figure out exactly where he was going, a house on Garden Street. That's the area where he was arrested. I'm talking surveillance video from businesses. I'm talking surveillance video from residences. I'm talking ring camera footage. At the apartment complex where Teelan lived, neighbors can't believe What's happened? It just breaks your heart to see things happen like that. Cause that's two lives gone, not just one. It's just, he's just gone and uh, he's gone forever. So I, I don't understand. Now, Jakari Webb remains in jail with no bond. 
Live in Volusia County, Michelle Meredith, West 2 News. Thanks, Michelle Meredith. I'll take it from here. But before I take it from here, let me say this. Michelle Meredith, you have been reporting the news since I was a child in Central Florida on this very same news station over 25 years. And to see you get out there beating the pavement to report these stories, it is very inspiring, all right? So let me go on. Let me get back on the topic. Now, before I get into what I really want to say, I want to send my condolences out to the family and friends of Teelan Mann. Now, when his friends heard about this, they went to the site where he was shot the next day. And one of his friends told the local news reporter, Teelan never wanted any bad for nobody. He always wanted everybody to be on good terms. He was always the positive one around the group. He never wanted any bad energy at all. That's what one of his friends said, so I know that his family and his friends miss him terribly. Now, Jakari Webb was indicted by a grand jury on a first-degree murder charge. Now, Jakari Webb, who initially told the police officers that he shot T. Lynn Mann because he feared of being outed as gay, changed his story several times. At first, he claimed that he shot T. Lynn Mann in self-defense, and then he said it was an accident, according to the charging affidavit. Jakari Webb. This was senseless, sir. And just like that neighbor, Miss Eula Hicks, said in the video, that there are two lives that are gone. Teelan Man and now yours. And they may even add a hate crime charge onto this. Jakari Webb, your life is gone. Your fear came upon you. And now everyone knows. Everyone in Daytona, all of your old football player teammates know. And now all of the men in prison know. Jakari, you told the police officers that Teelan was going to out you or he had been saying stuff about you for a long time and people were starting to believe it and all this kind of stuff. That's what you told the officers because you're the only one who can speak now and make a statement because you're the only one alive. And I'm going to get to that in a minute. But here's the thing for you, sir. You are locked up and will be locked up forever because of what you did to Teelan Man. People are going to talk. All of us, even the people listen to me, we've all had people, some people say stuff, people make up stuff. But if that is true, because we don't know that's true, we only know what you say because Teelan's not here to defend himself. If that is true, that he said stuff about you, you don't go out and take someone's life. And the law does not care about your sexual preference. If you break the law, you suffer the consequences. Now, we have had some cases in the past where some men have been able to use this thing, oh, I didn't know, especially when it came to certain uh, certain LGBTQIA people, oh, I didn't know they were this, or I didn't know it was that, or I was tricked and all this kind of stuff, or they were going to do this to me. And those men were arrested. They went to court, had a trial, and they were acquitted. Point in case, the Virginia Tech football player who went into a dark room, he didn't know, but the person who's doing stuff to you gave you $50, what woman's going to give you 50 Stupid, 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 all right? But let me tell you, with surveillance cameras, what these police use, like the police said, doorbell cameras, all of that stuff, and then using cell phones, because what Jakari Webb did was he deleted the account that he was texting T. Lynn Mann on, thinking that it would go away. There are people who, they know what they're doing. You know what you like. You know what you out there doing. And you think that you're going to get away with it? Be real with yourself. Well, Dawson is still not right for nobody to out anybody. Yeah, I agree with you on that. But in this particular case, I don't know if that's true or not. Why you say that, Dawson? I'll tell you why. Because Teelan Man is not here to defend himself. The only person we hear making a statement and talking is the one who committed the crime. Well, Dawson, I, I hear what you're saying, but I don't agree with everybody's lifestyle. I'm for the Lord and all this. Well, let me tell you something. Some of these individuals, not all of them, not all of them, not all of them are the way they are because many of them were touched. And you adults, especially in the black community, did nothing about it. And especially in the black church. So miss me with that nonsense because even now in your big churches and your conferences and at home and at family dinners and thanksgiving you all don't even address stuff that has happened in the family that has caused some people not all to be the way they are and some of you won't address it because boy let me see, i'm gonna say it anyway some of you won't address it because some of the people who did this to some of these young boys are your husbands and your brothers and your sons and your boyfriends and some of your pastors and leaders in the community. But y'all don't want to talk about that. Put that in your prayer request. Now I'm off of this topic. 
Go off in the comment section. Let me know what you think about this topic. Hey, but be respectful. Until next time, it's your guy Dawson. Take care of yourself and each other. And again, I'd like to send my condolences out to the family and friends of T. Lynn Mann. Peace.